All right, I know what you guys are thinking. Abby, why are you in the kitchen again? We need some outdoor videos. Let's get to it. Well, hunting season's over, it's January. Um, not much is happening until next month. We've got shed hunting coming up. So for right now, I am decluttering my house. I'm home making it up over here. And today I decided that I was gonna make my own homemade sandwich bread because last night I made a chuck roast and cut it up this morning. And I just really wanna try to make my own sandwich bread. If you guys saw one of my older reels here on YouTube, me and my cousin Emily made our homemade bread last year. That was really fun, but this year I'm gonna try it by myself. And instead of doing like a regular loaf of bread, I'm gonna try sandwich bread. So we're gonna see how this goes. No judgment here, okay? Uh, if it screws up, it screws up. I'm gonna post this anyways. Um, yeah, let's get to it. So we're going Jackson today because it's about to get hotter than a hoochie coochie up in this kitchen, okay? I'm actually gonna be popping in and out of this video because I have to watch this tutorial on YouTube <laughs> of how to do homemade bread. And I will, of course, link the one, the video that I'm learning from down below in the description box. I'm also gonna go back to another recipe that I had got off of a friend from Instagram. And she also, her and her husband have a YouTube channel um, as well. It's like a homesteading YouTube channel. Uh, so if that's your kind of thing, uh, go for it. I imagine if you're an outdoorsy person, you appreciate the homestead stuff too. So I'm gonna leave a description um, I'm gonna leave a link for her YouTube channel in the description box below too, so that you can go check out her. Let's get started because I wanna have chuck roast sandwiches for supper. I'm gonna need five and a half cups of flour, and I got this um, King Arthur Baking Company all-purpose flour. This is the unbleached. I'm gonna use this today, and like I said, I'm gonna use like five and a half, maybe six, six and a half, no, just six. Yeah, six and a half um, cups of flour. I decided to open up the blinds today because it's sunny outside, it's so beautiful. I thought it was supposed to rain today and it may still rain like in the afternoon, but of right now it's sunshiny and it's beautiful so I'm gonna open up the windows and enjoy it and in case you're curious about this recipe like I said I'm gonna leave everything in the description box down below because this is not necessarily a tutorial on how to make bread I hear my husband sorry guys I am moving over to a voiceover because it was about I would say almost two o'clock in the afternoon maybe a little earlier and hunter came home because he he had not been feeling good um for like the whole entire week and i think he finally like hit a wall so he decided to come home and take the rest of the day off and just sleep so i'm gonna go ahead and use this active dry yeast um i kind of changed what i heard originally planned to do um but I chose the easier route because I had already had this active yeast from last year's bread making. And so I decided to go ahead and use that because this is just a simpler recipe. The one that I had looked up here on YouTube, it required like six cups of flour. This only required like three cups and then some salt water and then the active yeast. So it was pretty basic, pretty simple. Um, and this is probably the route that I would recommend for a beginner when it comes to making your own bread. If you couldn't tell, I'm always so unsure of every single move that I make when it comes to being in the kitchen. I have always loved to cook, except for when it feels like I have to do it. That's when I don't like it. <laughs> but 
I thought I was going to be a chef when I was a little kid. I really did. Like, I watched Paula Deen every single day, okay? And I tried to help my mom in the kitchen a little bit. Um, she got irritated with me, would kick me out, and now I turn around and I do the same thing to my kids. So, um, I am retraining myself all over again to love cooking and to learn how to do it. Because it is fun. I do like cooking. But like I said, when it feels like I have to, that's when the fun gets sucked out of it. Like anything else, really. All right, well, that's gonna have to sit about two to three hours and let it rise. Um, but until then, I'm going to come outside and do some stuff. Hunter actually come home because he's feeling kind of sick. Actually, he is really sick. Um, so I'm going to come out here and let him kind of relax. And he's already asleep, actually, but I don't want to wake him up. So I'm just going to come out here and piddle around and do some things. Um, I'm going to cut out this meat for my dog. Um, we, in fact, ran out of dog food. But it's perfectly fine because, what, a couple years ago? No, it was last year, maybe sometime last year. Um, we, our freezer out here that we keep all of our cow meat that we get from my, my mother-in-law because they raise cattle, the fridge door crept open. So we lost like, I don't know, half a cow. Um, or better and it was the second time that it had happened so all of our meat got spoiled and we've been feeding Lily that bad meat um, and if somebody's gonna come on come for me on here about giving my dog bad meat I can't tell you the things that my dog has ingested um, without even without my consent <laughs> um but i'll just i'll just keep i'll just uh, leave that one there she needs some some food mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i like it i know you do i plan on going hiking tomorrow and of course i'm going to tag you guys along on that adventure with my cousin but uh we decided to go hiking since it's supposed to be really pretty tomorrow um, but I'm gonna come out here and burn some trash. It's actually a tad windy today, so I'm trying to keep the fire a little low, keeping the trash a little lower in the barrel. Just cause, um, we live close to the fire department and I don't want somebody calling me in because there's a crazy fire and it's really windy outside. As you can see, we have been running our um, fireplace for like the past three or four days, and she's rolling right now. I might go check on it, um, but Hunter's in the living room. He's just sleeping, so. I also need to ride to Walmart and pick up a few things just because I don't have the kids so it's easier to go shopping um, one kid I could definitely do it but two is a challenge like I said it's just easier because um, I can focus on what I'm doing and not have to worry about someone coming after me or my children while they're acting crazy okay well it's a bit too windy I think um, my fire is not firing right now, so um, I'm just going to give up on that and figure out what else I need to do other than go to Walmart. Okay, off to Walmart we go. I have got to get just a few random things and um, today is pretty dull, I guess. Not much going on, but I do need to go to Walmart, so that's next on the list. And hopefully when I get back, by the time I get back, my bread will be finished. It'll be rose, so I can go ahead and bake it. Alright, I got out of Walmart. 
Um, it wasn't too crazy, but it's now 3.45 and people are rolling in. Okay, let me... Am I zoomed out? Okay, I thought I, thought I was not zoomed out all the way. Um, I just got some Curulet Culture... Curulet? Culturet. Culturel. <laughs> Probiotics for kids. Um, I'm going to drop them off by the doctor. She's going to test them out just to see if they are good enough for my son to use. And then I got some of these um, Packers teeth picks and floss. Gotta have those. What else did I get? Oh, and I got some toothbrushes for both Wyatt and River. They didn't really have many options that I liked. Um, but Wyatt always, Wyatt always gets everything blue. River always gets everything green. So I just got those two. And I was also looking for a shower curtain because our ours was growing mold on it. Um, well, the plastic on the inside was growing mold. And so I really need to get a new one. Uh, but Walmart does not have that great of a selection in my opinion. So I'm going to go somewhere else eventually and get a shower curtain. But that's all I had to do at Walmart today. And I'm going to go home and check on my bread. You guys, it turned out good. Oh my gosh. I was so excited when it come out. I was like, man, this looks even better than the one I did last year. So that's an improvement. Second time around. I'm really happy with it. And I would love to keep doing this more and more. Um, I definitely, that sauce was bomb. Okay. Um, I made that sauce up by myself and we had some green beans and of course i you know pulled out the pot roast that i cooked in the crock pot overnight and this this meal was one of my absolute favorites and i'm not gonna lie emily might have to carry me up the mountain tomorrow because my belly's full <laughs> 